Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Hans Christian from Fab Philippines and welcome back to Fab Philippines in Sociology's exclusive live interview series with the Mr. of Filipinas 2021 contestants. But before we introduce our guest for this episode, allow me to welcome my co-host, the Sociology's Drew. Hi, Drew. Hi, Hans. Welcome Hi. back to us. Yeah, very excited to welcome our second batch of delegates. But before that, let's introduce Muna uh, what, and welcome to our show, Mr. Mark Alvero, uh, the talent director for PEPS, for a quick chit chat. So, hi, Mark. Hi, sir, Mark. Hello, Hans. Hello, Drew. Kumusta po? Okay lang. Ayan. So, ano, can you share with us, yung, ano, what can you share about this year's Sisters of Filipinas, 2021. Mayroong kakaroon tayo ng technical yeah. difficulties Things with Sir to, Mark. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so, and I think we have him again. Back yeah. again. So, hi, Sir Mark. Hi, Sir Mark. Welcome Hello, sorry, back. Hello, sorry. Nag-lesson with the internet. Okay. Okay lang. It's okay. Again, what's the question again? Uh, what what can we expect from this year's Misters of Filipinas? Uh, uh, from this uh, Misters of Filipinas, so just to update you, so uh, what will happen to Misters of Filipinas? Okay, so since we moved yung date ng competition, so right now, we extend also yung uh, when it comes to sa viewing ng intro video nila. So right now, you can support your favorite candidates by simply watching the intro video. So remember that uh, most number of views will advance to top 15. So makikita niyo yung intro video nila at Peps TV YouTube channel. Yes. Ayun. So ang babalitaan ko nakita ko yung mga ano, mga videos nila na naka-ethnic costume. I think mapapanood din siya sa aside from YouTube sa TikTok. Yes, uh fresh na fresh. So last night 10 pm so uh inintroduce na yung iba't ibang uh, ethnic costume so doon uh kung sino yung maraming uh views and depende dun sa mga judges kasi may criteria yon so hindi siya yung kagaya ng intro video na advance sa top 15 so ito naman is uh special awards naman yan special award okay yeah, and then uh, for the schedule of misters of Filipinas, so uh, September 3, so yun yung maging arrival namin sa uh, Negros Oriental. And then uh, September 3 to 11, so different activities sa uh, Negros Oriental. So kasama yun sa Dum- Dumaguete. So different activities yun. And of course, uh, September 12, so yun na yung coronation night nila. Ayan, perfect. So maraming salamat, Ayan, Sir Mark, for all the updates. May ahabol lang, lang ako. So, Ayan. Yes, um, Kasi mapapanood to sa Go Shopping Philippines under ng uh, Cine- Go Cineplex. So meron siyang fee na 300 for general admission and uh, 500 for uh, preliminary competition. Okay, yes. so uh, for more details, so mag-login kayo sa uh, Go Shopping Philippines. Ayan, so for all the fans who are watching right now, if you want to watch Mrs. Filipinas, you can watch it on Go Shopping Philippines. And all the, all the other details... Uh, Mababasa niyo yan on Libis, yeah. Filipinas' uh, Facebook and uh, all other social media accounts. So thank you again, Sir Mark, for joining thank us. Thank you, Sir Mark, for joining us. Thank you. And now, hands. Mm, it's finally time to welcome our second batch of yes. contestants. So, hindi naman sa pressure ko yung second batch ngayon, but these gentlemen have big shoes to fill following our very explosive first episode last yes. night. Very so now, without just like the first episode hands, we will be introducing them one by one, starting with Mr. Number One from Davao del Norte, Norman Coronel. So, hi, Norman, and welcome to the show. Hi, Norman. Hi, welcome. Po. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Hi, Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi sa inyo, Sir Drew and Sir Hans. At sa sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa Misosology page and Fab Philippines. Good evening, everyone. So, hindi na natin patatagalin pa, uh, Norman. So, please introduce yourself to all our viewers out there. 
Hi, um, my name is Norman Aquino Colonel, representing Davao del Norte. Um, I am an um, online English tutor for about five years now. And when I'm at home, I love to play with our four dogs here. And I love watching movies every night, especially before I go to sleep. I love watching horror movies, <laughs> to be specific. I love that. And um, when I also at home, I love doing workouts because, you know, help is wealth. So, napaka-importante ang alagaan natin ng ating kalusugan. At saka, dito naman din sa amin sa Davao del Norte, um, we under um, GCQ na, so medyo maluwag na, so nakakalabas na kami, nakakapunan na lang kami ng mga malls or other places here na hindi masyadong strict na yung policy namin. So, I think everyone who are watching now will be enjoy our interviews with my co-brothers and sisters of Filipinas. Good evening everyone again. Ang dami mong pinakakaabalahan. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm still working. I'm still working at home. Just at home. Because um, I choose this job because I love to travel abroad. So I can handle my time. I can do my work anytime, anywhere around the world. So, and it's fun because I... Um, teach different nationality from young and adult learners. And napakahirap lang turuan yung mga, mga bata. Pero nakakatawa. <laughs> yeah, so you mentioned earlier na mahilig ka sa horror movies. Yes. So if, lot, you could recommend, lot, if you could recommend just one horror movie, uh, movie for us to watch, what would it be? I think the best one is the American horror movie. Or not, not movies, uh, American Horror sto Stories. Especially the Coven series and the um, Renock um, uh, series. Po. Uh, that, that's my two top picks in that uh, series. It, 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 right. it is a, a TV show and you can watch it um, in, on Netflix and you can also download it on the internet. Uh, the new favorite ko rin yung series na yun. Maganda nga siya, di ba? Um, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Ano pa ba rin? Siyempre, <laughs> uh, Coven, saka ano, Asylum. Ah, yung Asylum din, Asylum. Mas maganda din. Maganda, maganda din. siya. So now I think uh, Hans has a question to you about your advocacy. So go ahead. Yeah. So ay nga, di ba yes, your advocacy is Musa Advocacy, right? Yes pa, yes pa. So how will you promote or push that advocacy to the whole Philippines and even the whole world? Uh, yeah, I'm. I am an advocate of Musa Advocacy. Um, for everyone, everyone knows Musa is the scientific term of banana. So Musa is a banana in abaca fiber, and actually, they are uh, already expert in other uh, other countries now. And now, one of the reason. Um, uh, kung bakit ako sumali dito sa Mr. So Filipinas because I want to uh, to uh, um, promote also here in the Philippines because I think here in the Philippines uh, Musa is not really known for for what it is so I just want to showcase what is Musa and I hope that um, everyone here in the Philippines know what is double the Norte Musa advocacy all about so I think that's uh, the main uh, what is the reason why I choose this uh, to join this pageant also. So you're oozing with so much personality, and then you also have a very oh, thank you. Uh, interesting advocacy. Mm -hmm. So my <laughs> question, Norman, what quality do you think you possess that sets you apart from the rest of your fellow guests? Mm. Oh, that's a hit up lang question na yun. Kasi may kanya-kanyang personalidad kaming lahat, uh, co uh, um For me, siguro, I'm so much driven. And I'm very passionate on what I do, and especially yung, if my goal ako sa life, alam mo yun, um, um, pinupush ko talaga yan, uh, beyond my limit talaga. Um, even if mahira, wala namang, wala namang, um, um, wala namang madaling proseso para ma maabot mo yung mga pangarap mo sa buhay. So all I need to do and my quality to, you know, to or the edge of, among the candidates, maybe um, I am so much driven and passionate to all what I do in my life. 
So now before we let you go, before we let you go, uh, you have a, a message to all your supporters out there. Uh, the floor is oh. yours. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for the people who always give support, especially now that I don't have any like they call team, you know, because um, some of the candidates they have, but um, for uh, uh, in my side, I am very grateful and thankful to sa mga pipa taong nag-aabot, uh, nagpapaabot ng tulong nila, hindi man sa financial, kundi sa pagmamahal, sa suporta, kahit sa mga kinakailangan kong um, dalhin, gawin, alam mo yon yung spirit lang nila na papabus niyo kahit napakahirap ng sitwasyon ngayon lalo na dahil pandemic tayo there's a lot of uh, restrictions and policies that we need to abide so um i'm very very grateful lang and my heart is full of love to 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 show them my my sincerest uh, uh thanks to everyone and i hope they will appreciate that Yes. So thank you, thank you, Norman, for thank joining you so us. Much, Pero, thank you so much, sir. We will see you again later. So yes. Yes. Sa thank you, Norman. See you. Okay. So now, uh, at this point, we want to welcome our next uh, candidate. Uh, so we'll travel naman from Davao, Del Norte, travel tayo to Pampanga with Mr. Number Four, Jomarl Pabalan. So hi, Jomarl. Hi, Jomarl. Good evening. Thank you, Sir Drew and Mom Hans. Yeah. Thank you. Sa mga okay. viewers. Yeah. So be, be, before ako magtanong sa'yo, uh, pinapasabi pala ni Pawi, hi daw, from Poland. Thank <laughs> 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 you, Pawi. Thank you, Sa Poland. Ayan. So, John Marl, uh, isa ka sa, I think, one of the medyo popular candidates among this year's batch. So, could you tell us something that most people still do not know about you. Um, ano po bang di namin alam sa iyo? Ayun po, um, yung hindi niyo pa alam sa akin. Uh, sa tingin ko, yung, ano, yung determination ko, uh, parang nababypass po ako, taka, parang tinitignan lang nila yung image ko, pero uh, masasabi ko, uh, mabait po ang tao, responsable ako, and gagawin ko lahat para manalo ako sa competition na to determined. So, yeah. yan. And you also come from the tinatawag na culinary capital ng Philippines, yeah. which is Pagpanga. So, kung merong pagkain that best describes who you are, or yung nakaka- sa tingin mo kung pagkain ka yun ka, what would it be and why? Uh, simple lang naman. Uh, sisig, kasi hinahanap-hanap. Hahanap pa natin mo. Wow. Aba, nap- napatawa diba? si Anna. Napangiti si Hans doon sa sisig. Ako, alam ko, sizzling. sizzling. <laughs> Crowd favorite, gano'n. Go, hands. So, ayun nga, diba, aside from being the culinary capital of the Philippines, pansin ko nga parang ang daming guwapo sa Kapampanga. So, Ay, sobra. sobrang, sobrang ganda rin ang lugar. So, parang, what's the best part of being a Kapampangan? Kasi parang ang daming magagandang qualities, no? But, pero for you, what's the best part of being uh, pinakamasarap sa pagrandam ng pagiging kapampangan namin po yung sobrang hospitable kami uh, mab- uh, lagi kaming masayahin kahit sobrang hirap na sitwasyon ngayon lalo na ngayon pandemic uh, di, pa rin na- uh, di pa rin nawawala sa mga ngiti na- uh, sa mukha namin yung ngiti kahit na nahihirapan yun magandang quality yun ah so You've competed in other pageants before, right? So do you think this is an advantage for you here in Miss Paris? Mm, isa, uh, sa tingin ko, isa din po yun yung experience ko. Pero uh, bawat pageant po kasi iba-iba yung story. So para sa akin, advantage. So magkikita na lang po natin sa mismong laban kung magagamit ko ba yung experience ko na yun. And my final question, Jomal, bago ka na yung paa, ay... Before we let you go, so, uh, ano yung pinaka mahirap na sacrifice that you have to do, lalo na may, nasa pandemic tang, tayo ngayon, while preparing for Mrs. Pinaka mahirap sa, na sacrifice. Uh, sobra, sobrang nahihirapan po ako ngayon sa sitwasyon ko. Uh, sobrang strict po kasi uh, sinasacrifice ko yung health ko. Uh, magigipag-meet ako sa mga designer, sa mga sponsor pa, 
para lang maging possible uh, possible yung ano yung journey ko dito sa Mr. sa Pilipinas. Yung point na mahirap. Pero siguro doing kung worth it naman lahat ng to. Yes, and I'm sure it will all be worth it for all of you candidates. And uh, before can I mean, let go uh, a quick uh, message to all your fans. May medyo maraming nagko-comment din ngayon. Uh-huh. Uh, ay sa lahat ng mga viewers ko sa mga sumusuporta sa akin sa mga nagi sponsor tsaka walang tiyo na uh, kapag uh, binabasa ko yung mga message nyo hindi lang ako nagre-reply pero sobrang nakakataba ng puso uh, sana ganun nyo din supportahan yung mga uh, mga brothers ko sa Mr. Sa Pilipinas wag sana kayo mambash o mambuli uh, lahat naman kami uh, nagpiprepare dito ginagawa yung best namin Love perfect na perfect very perfect. well said said So, maraming salamat, Joe Marl. Alam ko may interview ko pa later, pero we will still see you later for the yeah. the next segment of the show. So, chill ka lang ulit dyan sa backstage. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Joe Marl. And, ayan. Yes. Next Now, naman, uh-uh, from Pampaga 2, lapu-lapu naman tayo. Mr. Number 9, John Christian Arong. Welcome. Hey, John. So, good evening po sa magandang dalawang, good evening po sa inyong dalawa, at sa lahat ng, ng viewers po natin, good evening po. Hello, kumusta ka naman dyan? Ngayon po, okay naman po, pero medyo hindi masyadong nakakalabas, kaya hindi masyadong nakaka-workout, nakaka- gawa ng mga bagay-bagay dahil ngayon dito sa Lapu-Lapu MSQ kami yun po pero okay po good health and good health sa family ko po okay na po ako yun na po yes tama tama uh, yan stay safe so healthy tayong lahat yun ang mahalaga so, uh, so ano John could you tell us something more about yourself introduce yourself to the audience Hello, John. So my name is my name is John Christian Arong, 20 years old, a full-time student. But nung hindi pa kami nung wala pang lockdown, nagpa-part-time po ako as a fitness trainer and I also go for ex- extra like movies. So the recent movies that I've been is international movie on Netflix that was almost paradise and right now i'm busy working out at my at home because hindi po pwedeng lumabas po ngayon kasi MCQ po kami ngayon hmm. so ano interesting yung ano mm-hmm. interesting yung nag- Dati kang nag extra sa mga movies, ha? Oh, very interesting, almost para. Pero narinig ko, parang na-produce yes, na atay. <laughs> so yes, go, oh. go, go hands. Ayan. So you're taking up a tourism course, no? So how would you promote your hometown in other yes. countries? How would I promote Lapu-Lapu? So I am very proud to promote Lapu-Lapu City, not just to the Philippines, but to the world. Because Lapu-Lapu is known for five five star hotels, white sand beaches, and what really makes Lapu-Lapu mo- world class is the people, the accommodating people, and I am very proud to say that. Thank you. Wow, ang gusto po muntot talaga sa Lapu-Lapu na dro, para ang saya sa muntot. And another uh, John, I know that Cebuano uh, is one of the most spoken languages in our country. So if there is uh, a word in your native language na favorite mo, what would it be? And uh, please share it to us. So favorite word in my is gihigugmataka. So gihigugmataka in Tagalog is mahal kita and in English I love you. Because why? Because 
Opunganon Cebuanos are very uh, lovable person and very hospitable. Maraming tourists na pumupunta dito sa amin dati nung wala pang pandemic and nakikita ko talaga sa mga mata ng mga turista na sobrang saya nila. At saka marami na rin ditong mga foreigner na dito na talaga naglalagi kasi as a tourism student, I also we have also conducted some some research about foreigners staying here in Cebu. So doon na mas nakilala ko talaga na mas nagsistay sila dito dahil sa ugali ng mga Cebuano. Yes, and finally, final question, John. Anong quality in you do you think would help you win, Mr. of Filipinas? For me, the best quality I have right now is I am a goal-driven person. Alam ko po na sa pagsali pa lang na Mr. of Filipinas, it's already a big goal and it's already a big success for me as bringing Lapu-Lapu in national stage. But I will really do my best to get that crown and to bring pride in my hometown. Thank you. And before, before we let you go, John, uh, a message to all your fans and supporters out there. Hello, John. Uh, if you have a message Hello, to all your fans and supporters. Uh, yes. If you have a message to all your fans and supporters. Ayan. Oh, so. Pwede mo silang kausapin ngayon. So to all my supporters, to all my supporters, to all my supporters, thank you so much for supporting me, and not just me, but the other and other and my other co-candidates. Please support them also because I am not. We are not just here for showing off our beautiful faces, our beautiful body. We are equally beautiful inside and out but we also have advocacies that you you need to to tune into yun talaga ang dapat lang tutukan yung mga advocacies natin thank you so once again thank you john christian aro of lapu thank you john thank you we will see you again later see you later thank you and now hands yes uh, from Lapu Lapu City, travel tayo mm -hmm. pabalik sa Norte to Isabela with yeah. Mr. Number 20, Felixander Dalupang. So, hi, Felix. Hi, Felixander. You're on you're mute. On, you're on mute. Magandang gabi po sa lahat ng sumusubaybay at sa inyo pong dalawa, mga sir. Magandang magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi rin sa iyo. Magandang gabi. So, I'm sure uh, our mga fans are excited na to know more about you. So, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, hi, mga viewers. Ako, po nga, ako nga po pala si Felix Sander Tidalupang II, graduate ng International Diploma in Professional Culinary Arts and Baking and Pastry, Professional Barista Course 101-102 at dating varsity player ng New Era University at University of the East. Mahilig din ako sa mga... Uh, adventure gaya ng pamumundok at uh, iba din yung pambubukid. Ayan, mahilig po ako sa mga ganyan. Mahilig din po ako kumain ng mga exotic food at alamin pa ang iba't ibang mga bagay. Yan lang po. Very interesting. And so, may tanong ako sa'yo, Felix Sander. So, nakita ko sa video mo na ano, napaka-active mo, no? Sa sports. Oh. Oh, po. So, Aside from sports, how do you stay in shape? Paano mo napapangalagaan ng iyong katawan? Mm, sa pagkain din po. Kailangan din po. Number, uh, pangunahin po sa pagpapalit ng katawan o 
paninibago ng timbang, unang-una sa pagkain. Pangalawa na lang po yung mga physical na aktividad kasi sa pagkain, dun po tayo nakakakuha ng mga tinatawag na macronutrients natin. Protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So, kailangan well-balanced po lahat yun para kahit uh, nasa panahon tayo ng mga physical na aktividad, uh, maganda pa rin po yung ating mga pangangatawan. Tama. And in relation to that question, ngayong pandemic, paano mo na may maintain ng iyong katawan? Dahil so marami mahirap, no? Opo. Ah, uh, Siyempre po, bilang uh, Mr. sa Pilipinas, kailangan pursigido ka sa mga ginagawa mo. Then kahit na may pandemic, uh, wala pa rin sanang maging hadlang o maging rason para ka huminto sa mga uh, pag-eresisyo. Gaya ngayon, meron po akong mga home workout na tinatawag. May, meron po akong resistant band o kaya gumagawa din ako ng mga push-up, pull-ups. Yung mga typical lang pong ginagawa sa bahay na hindi kita kailangan ng mga weights. Yun lang man, yun lamang po. Jumping rope. There's a will, there's a way. Tama. So, next question ko sir is, how badly do you want the title and what sets you apart from the other candidates? How? Uh, oh, lahat naman po kami gustong makuha yung title, yung titulo. Pero lahat, lahat din po kami may kanikanyang paghahanda. Bilang ako, naghahanda, naghahanda din sa aking sarili. Uh, Siyempre, sinisikap kong pagandahin yung aking katawan sapagkat yun yung unang makikita ng tao sa iyo, magiging first impression nila sa iyo. Then pagkatapos, uh, hinahasa ko rin ang aking mental na kaisipan para kapag ka may isasabak na katanungan sa iyo sa Q&A portion, makakasagot po tayo ng uh, maayos. Yes. And my final question ako sa iyo, Felix. Uh, you were a Apo. Taekwondo varsity player, tama ba? Apo. Yes, so ano sa tingin mo yung ano, yung pagkakapareho ng sports and ng pageants? And ano yung magagamit mo, mga natutunan mo as a varsity player, as an athlete ngayong na sasali ka naman sa Masters of Philippines? Tingin ko po ang pagkakapareho po nila ay eh, yung may midimithi sa dulo, yung may nais maabot sa dulo. At siyempre bilang taekwondo po, ikukumpara ko po yan, ay bilang nasa larangan ng sport, ikukumpara ko po yan sa pageantry bilang masigasig, ay ako po ay masigasig, disiplinado, nakatuon yung mga aking mga uh, pangarap sa hinaharap, sa kabilang isang atleta, natuto akong magpahalaga sa oras. At talagang tinutulak ko ang sarili ko hanggang sa hangganan ng aking makakaya. Kaya, tapos kailangan din positibo ang isip at huwag mag-iisip ng negatibo. Yun po. So, yes. Tama yun, no? yung disiplina tama. at saka yung mental toughness as an athlete. No? Magagamit mo talaga sa pageants. So now, Felix, no, but before we let you go, uh, maraming nanonood ng mga fans mo. So, ano message mo sa kanila? Sa mga patuloy na sumusuporta sa akin, sa Misters of Pilipinas, uh, hinihiling ko patuloy pa ninyo ako suportahan hanggang sa uh, Coronation Night. Gayon din ang mga kapwa ko kandidato at patuloy nyo i-like and share yung mga photos na nire-release po nila tungkol sa, uh, para po sa amin. Then yung mga page po ng Misters of Pilipinas, Pag Philippines at Peps TV, lagi, nyo, lagi po kayong mag-subscribe po doon. Thank you po. Yeah. Maraming salamat, salamat. Felix. Magkikita ulit tayo later. So, uh -huh. Salamat. Salamat. So that's it. Your Mr. Isabella Felix Dalupang. And now let me call on Mr. Number 24 from Tarlac, Zeus Sado. Hi, Zeus. Hello po. Good evening, Sir Drew and Sir Hans and sa lahat ng viewers ng Misosology and Fab Philippines. Good evening sa inyo lahat. Good evening, Zeus. So, Zeus, uh, please introduce yourself to our audience. I'm Zeus Nathan Sado, 19 years old, an incoming sophomore at Far Eastern University, currently taking up leadership and human capital management. And I am a young entrepreneur. Na I have my own product, which is Zeus Pomade, and I am very proud of Na sariling akin to at uh, itong maliit na negosyo na to ay aking 
gusto ko talaga ipagmalaki kasi sa lahat ng negosyo na lokal, nagsisimula talaga sa maliit hanggang sa lumaki. At sa ating pagsuporta sa mga small businesses and local businesses, mas lalo tayo nakakatulong sa pamilya na mismo nung may-ari ng negosyo at para sa ekonomiya ng ating bansa. Yes. So, batang-bata pero meron ng advocacy at may business. Very good. But we will talk more about that later. Pero next question ko sa'yo. Zeus, you, you won Mr. Tarlock last 2020, right? Yes. So, it's been uh, a, a year, more than a year, na nanalo ka as Mr. Tarlock. Ano sa tingin mo yung uh, improvement from you since dun sa unang pageant na sinalihan mo and now nakasali ka na sa business? Ang pinaka-improvement po na nakikita ko sa sarili ko is yung aking pananalita, yung aking public speaking na ayun, nasanay na ako or nagsasanay ako maging commun- mag- kung paano mag-communicate ng maayos at paano ipakita yung aking thoughts, paano ko siya i-deliver at yung pakikisama sa mga co-candidates. Tamang-tama yung pakikisama. Yes, Isa sa tama. pinakamahalagang uh, pag-uugali sa pageants. And now, marami kang na nabanggit kanina about your school, your your business, your advocacy, pero what is an interesting trivia na hindi pa namin alam about this? Uh, I love sports. I have I I love cycling, uh, motorcycling, and I was a part of the varsity of my previous school, uh, baseball varsity, and ako yung mid center field na pinaka crucial lalo na sa mga magagaling pumalo, kasi kailangan ng center midfield yung bilis ng pagtakbo at yung paglakas ng pagbato ng ball. Kaya proud akong yun yung naging position ko nung varsity ako. Yes, so I have a related question. Tulad ng question ko kanina kay John. Uh, ay, kay Felix. So, as an athlete, pan, ano, ano yung uh, pagkakapareho ng sports tsaka ng pageants? Para sa akin yung pagiging hardworking and responsible. Kasi sa sports, kung hindi mo gagawin yung best mo or hindi mo dadaanin lahat ng pagsubok na susuko ka na lamang, hindi mo magagawa yung dapat mong gawin. And yung pagiging responsable mo sa role mo, uh, lalo na sa pageant kasi ang role namin is to inspire and ipakita ang aming advocacy. So pagiging responsable sa aming advocacy na Da, hindi lamang sa pagsali ng pageant na to, kaya kami nagkaroon ng advocacy, pero manalo o matalo, and after ng pageant, sana ipatuloy natin gamin ang ating advocacies. Well said. So now, Hans, says the question. Ayun, since nabanggit yung advocacy na, you have a very interesting, and for me, important yung advocacy mo, which is buying and supporting Filipino products. So how do you plan to push forward this advocacy of yours? Uh, dahil na nga ako ay isang young entrepreneur at na-experience ko mismo kung ano yung dina- dinadanas ng mga young entrepreneur or yung mga entrepreneurs mismo and ang mga locals kasi lalo na ngayong pandemic maraming nawalan ng trabaho at maraming hindi nakaahon sa buhay so, kaya pinili ko talaga tong advocacy na to kasi alam na alam ko siya alam ko kung paano makakatulong dahil sa ating pagsuporta sa mga local businesses, nakakatulong na tayo direkta sa kanila. At yung pagtulong natin sa kanila, dahil para makapag-operate sila, tumutulong din sila sa iba. So give and take yung pagsuporta natin para na rin sa atin, sa mga pamilya na natutulungan natin at para sa ekonomiya na, na din natin. I don't agree more with that. And ayun. my next question for you is, what were the sacrifices you did for the pageant at this time of the pandemic? I'm sure hindi siya madali, no? Ang <laughs> um, pinaka-sacrifice ko is diet kasi I love to eat food. <laughs> hindi naman siya ganun kahalata kasi I'm very active. Uh, mahirap talagang i-give up yung food lalo na nag-pandemic, hindi gaano 
labas na labas pero ang ginagawa ko lang is kain ng kain. So, ang hirap talaga. Saka yung time management kasi may schooling tapos preparations pa for Mr. sa Pilipinas. Yes. And before we end the, the one-on-one interview with users, your message to all your fans and supporters out there. Sa lahat ng supporters ko, sa lahat ng Tarlacenos, sa lahat ng organizers ng Mr. Tarlac, ng Mr. sa Pilipinas, and sa mga events na tumutulong sa pag-supporter ng Mr. sa Pilipinas, maraming salamat po. At sana patuloy ang inyong suporta sa akin at sa mga co-candidates and even sa mga organizers na rin ng event. Sana manatili tayong ligtas at yun, Tuloy-tuloy lang ang pagsuporta sa isa't isa para lahat tayo sama-sama ang pakyat. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, Zeus, for joining us. And we'll see you again later. Thank you, Zeus. For that, uh, I just want to give a quick shout-out to Pawi, who's watching right now from Poland. Hi, Pawi. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Zeus. And now, Hans, we're now on our last uh, candidate for this evening. So Bilis. travel tayo naman from Tarlac. Lipad tayo to Albay with Mr. Number 27, Anthony Alpe. So, hi, Anthony. Good evening, Anthony. Hi, Jos. Maray na banggi sa Induga Boss, meaning to say good evening to all of you, especially to, to you, Sir Hans and Sir Drew. Kamusta po kayo lahat? Mabuti naman. We're eh. doing quite we're very, well. We're very happy to have you on the show. Thank you so, so much. Po. So, Anthony, uh, please could you tell us something that most people still do not know about you. Okay. For everyone who's watching right now, I am Anthony Bison Alpe, a second year student uh, at the University of Nueva Cáceres, taking a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. And also, I love helping people, especially those children who are suffering from hunger and malnutrition, because I know how it feels like. So that is why every time I win a pageant, I do an outreach program to help the community so that the people, the children, will be inspired to, de- to do the same when they grow up. And also, I'm a young entrepreneur, and I love um, singing, dancing, joining male pageant like this, and very, very much passionate about and everything that I do, and I'm a hardworking person. And I believe that through this, I will be able to achieve all my dreams and aspirations in life. Yes, so... We have a very well-rounded candidate pala dito. Yes. And isa sa pinaka tumatak sa akin is you love singing. So, bigyan mo naman kami ng sample. Hi. <laughs> so, I will give a sample. Uh, this is my favorite song. When I look into your eyes It's like the watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise well, there's so much to hold. And that's the title is that I won't give up because yes. I suffer a lot of hardship in life, but I remain resilient because of my strong faith in God. So to everyone who's suffering from so many hardship struggles, please continue to believe in yourself. And I know someday you'll dem- definitely turn your dreams into reality. Yes. Galing, galing naman. So, um, I, I did a, a little research about you before we started the, the show. And I, I found out na sumasali ka na ng pageants even before. Yes, sir. So what, was, so, what was the reason why you started competing in pageants? And now as, with investors? Actually, there's a funny story about that. When I started joining in pageantry, male pageantry, there is someone who approached me in a jeepney and ask me if I'm willing to join in pageantry. So, syempre, I'm hesitant because I don't know that person. So, he's a stranger from me. So, I don't talk to him. So, the my friends talk to him. So, he's the one who would talk back and they chit-chat and explain everything. So, when I know the reason why he asked me to join the competition, then I agreed to that. So, Right after that, I joined um, Ginoong Pasakaw. So, I lose that competition. So, I joined again a uh, regional pageant, Ginoong Bicolandia. And again, 
I wasn't able to win. So, here's my another manager, um, known me to uh, training. He actually trained me here at Metro Manila, and he's Jess Soriano from KF, KF team. And he trained me very well. Then right after that, I came back, I came back to pageantry and Bicol, Bicol region. Then right after, um, I joined Lahan ng Pinangat. Then I won on 13 special awards and I won first runner up. And I win again as Ginoong Naga City Bicolandia. I won Lahan ng um, Baaw Kamarinisor, Lahan ng Bui Pintakasi. And res- recently, I won Ginoong Tabak. And I was so amazed that those people who doesn't believe me, I proved to them that I can make it. Keep on telling me that, no, you can make it. You're ugly. You don't have a good uh, body. But I proved them wrong. Because I know joining pageant isn't about physical looks. It is about more on our personality as a person. Like this, ma- this mantra of Misters of Filipinas, it is about masculinity and responsibility. And I believe that masculinity isn't about having a good body physics or having a good physical looks, but it is more on our personality to become responsible and strong. And that's what makes you masculine as a person. And I'm very much responsible because during my younger years, I do a lot of work like I do farming. I became a homeboy to earn money to send myself to school and to help also my family. And that's the reason why I joined here in Mr. Speed of Filipinas because I want to um, showcase this ability of mine. Of course, to inspire people, especially the youth, the millennials, on how we can help each other, on how we can raise awareness to the issues that we are, we are facing right now. Um, very inspiring okay. para si Anton. So ako naman, may question ako sa'yo. Um, Anthony, um, how, how were you able to balance your studies and joining the pageant, pageants like this priority? As this has, now um, I stopped studying because of financial problem. But I'm still going to pursue my studies soon, hopefully. And I'm joining Mistress of Philippines because I was attracted with the cash price that it will be given to me so that it will help me finish my studies. Tama naman. Very practical yun. Yes, of course. And honestly, to tell you the truth, as he's speaking, I've been in pageantry for more than six years. So what I do to my cash price is that I pay it to my tuition fee so that I will be able to continue studying. And so I need to stop now because our house was being hit by super typhoon. So I need to use my saving in order for me to rebuild our house in Bicol region. So that's very inspiring, uh, Anthony. But before we let you go, uh, um, a quick message to all your fans. Of course, to all of my, I don't want to call them uh, a fans because for me, they are my family. I am so much grateful to all of you because ever since you've been supporting me since I started joining male pageantry, you know how much I care for all of you and how much I love you all. And hopefully, you'll continue to support me my co mistress candidate. And of course, please don't forget to support the Exicam of Mistress of Filipinas because without them, the, this pageant would not be possible. So please continue to support Mistress of Filipinas. Follow their official page, Peps TV YouTube channel, and of course, Fab Philippines and Missisology. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Anthony, and we will see you again in a few. See you later, Anthony. Yeah. Now, Hans, it's time for your uh, Bethlehem monologue. Yes. This show is brought to you by Bethlehem, the house of bread. Each bread and every food item served at Bethlehem is prepared in a traditional way, ensuring the authenticity of the products. Dishes are made upon earth orders and served fresh on the table. With quality as top priority, various ingredients used for the different artisan breads and food items are sourced out overseas, mainly from India and Mexico where herbs and spices abound. 
Every Sunday at the weekend market in, in Legazpi, Makari City, Bethlehem goodies are put on display and sale. For those who have desires for exotic flavors and healthy options, Bethlehem delivers around Metro Manila to satisfy your cravings. You can place your orders through 0977-851-5711 and pay via GCash and have them picked up by either Lala Move or Grab. Nakamute kami, Nani. Ayan. Thank you very much, Bethlehem, for... Thank you, Bethlehem. ...our live chat series with our Mistress of Filipinas.